Jack from Texas wants to know, what steps do you take to distinguish between an honorable company, um, you know, that's something that's aligned to your values, mm. and one that just isn't? I mean, how do you figure that out? It's so, so important to find companies that you love and you support in order to get interested in investing at all. I mean, that's the trigger for you. Absolutely. Like we, I've tried to figure out 10 different ways to, f to get you excited about this whole thing. And somewhere along the line, you started to realize that you were interested in certain companies because they represent your values out in the world. Your money is a vote, no matter how you're using it. Whether it's, for me, it's at the grocery store, I try to choose fair trade, organically sourced, ethically sourced animals, vegetables that are grown without pesticides, right? Like those are my choices regularly, three times a week when I go to the grocery store. So in investing for me, it's the same. I wanna choose companies that support those values, even exactly. So I bought Whole Foods because they have those values in their stores and I can buy them publicly on the open market. And by doing that, by making my money a vote, it keeps me super engaged in what's happening in the companies I've chosen and in the market as a whole to see if I can make those companies rise up and the other ones hopefully yeah, go like away. Voting for what's going to be in the world 20 years from now. But here's the thing, Jack, you got to be sure you understand what your values are. That's where it starts. True. Is a pretty clear idea about what you think is important in the world. And if you want to think about that in one way is to think about your kids. This is my kid. What do you want the world to look like for your children down 20 years, 30 years, 40 years from now? and vote for those things. And a lot of times, you know, we sort of have lip service about what we want the world to be and what we support. And then we take our votes, which is our money, which is, I think is a great point. You take your money and you vote for other stuff. Yeah, because you do it unthinkingly. Yeah, you don't realize you you're do it choosing. Expediently. And, and what people and do when they- And yet that money supports things no matter where it goes, oh, whether man. you intended it or not. Exactly. It I mean, is a vote. Think about the, the, and by the way, Jack, this isn't about Danielle's values or my values or Warren Buffett's values. This is about you figuring out your values and making your vote. So a lot of the problems with investing is they sort of categorize things like social, what do you, what do you call that? Like socially- Socially responsible, responsible investing. investing. Which is code words for certain kinds of companies, right? It tends to be, unfortunately. I mean, it's not meant to be that, but it tends to circle around certain kinds but of companies. What yeah. I would like you to think is that socially responsible investing is your version of socially responsible investing, not Danielle's, not mine. Right. Like Warren Buffett loves Coca-Cola and burgers. So let's answer Jack. Which is a little different than you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's answer Jack's question, All which right. is, I'd say, look at what you buy now. Go, I actually literally went back and looked at my Am sorry Amazon <laughs> list of things to buy and saw everything I had been buying from toilet paper to books to whatever and thought, okay, which ones do I want to keep supporting and which ones am I actually a little bit embarrassed that I bought that one or maybe I could have done a better job of researching that source or that company. And that's a good place to start. What are you actually doing now and what do you want to keep doing in a conscious way? Thank you.